Coming up on our home, how to create a rainfall effect for your walls. Nice, Nick? Yeah. With colorful painting technique called dripping. And also, turn your favorite frame print into a photo album that hangs on the wall. Where do you see this? Plus, our home visits an expected mom's delivery alternative, an in-hospital birthing center. Mm, Sounds like that's the way it should be. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm Ernie Anastas. I'm Bonnie Montgomery. Come on into our home. <laughs> We are dressed, we're ready to go, aren't we? Something sloppy oh, coming up, you huh? you can tell, right? <laughs> hey, we, we've done lots of faux finishes here at our home, but none quite as much fun, or as messy, as you just pointed out, as the colorful effect called dripping. Now, I'm not sure how messy this is. We're going to have to find yeah. out about this. We're going to find out how we can do this dripping to our walls from the owner of Cranberry Hole Road in New York City, Buddy Susau. Hi, buddy. Hi, nice buddy. to meet you. Is it going to be sloppy? <laughs> well, that depends upon you. Okay. Look but the this. most important thing is having fun. Okay. Getting those paints on there and mm -hmm. getting yourself a beautiful effect on the wall and yeah. having fun. You can this see that. This is a very elegant look, and I have to say, I have never heard of this before. Is this new? Well, I think they do certain techniques called verdigree, where they make the wall look like a metal. Mm -hmm. But this is just something fun. This is decorative painting, okay. and that means that you can do anything you want and come yeah. up with a beautiful look. How you never can make a mistake. How many colors do you have here, buddy? We different? have three colors here, mm -hmm. and that's, that's quite enough for this, with a base coat of gold underneath, which we're going to see in a few minutes. Okay. Now, I am imagining a dining room. This seems very elegant. Yeah, it does. Is that the kind of place that we would do this, or a living room? Well, I think or... this does better in a smaller area, yeah. like a bathroom or an entry foyer, oh. just to give it, because it has that glittery spark to right. it. Okay. You don't want too much of that. No, yeah. not too much. And maybe just one wall instead of all four walls. That's a possible yeah. way to do it, sure. And but do you start with the, with a dark color? Is that the base? You start with a dark color, because it's easier to get the gold on, which mm -hmm. is the next step. And then you start squirting anything that you want onto there. Let's see how We're this ready. is going. Sure. You know, it's, okay. it's, I, I don't think I'm going to quite get this till I see sure, us we'll doing it. The first thing that we're going to do is we have the brown. And we're going to just add a little bit. Is this a regular latex you. wall? A latex wall. And you mm -hmm. need the gold is a latex flat gold. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me see this. Actually, gold. It's an acrylic okay. paint. Okay. Acrylic paint. So you let the brown dry Water clean overnight. Up. So if you do get it on your clothes, you can wash it off quickly with water. There okay. you go. OK, no let's problem. go. And anyway, you want to get that gold up there. That's, That's the first step. Uh -huh. Right. And then let it completely dry? Let it dry for at least an hour. OK, very good. And we have our wall over here. Yeah. Well, why don't we put on some gloves, just so. All right. Oh, I love this <laughs> it's now. Gonna, it's going to start getting this. sloppy. <laughs> OK. This is what we're ready for. OK, so we've, we've put on two coats now. You've got we the put brown on base and then the gold. That's right. Okay. We've let the gold dry. Right. Mm. I can't imagine what's coming next. We're yeah. going to see that brown come through. If you, if you like, okay. you don't have to put it on. You can put it on any way that you want. OK. There's no mistakes. Right. Oh, we like okay. that. Why don't we give you the brown, Bonnie? OK. All right. What is All right. this? This is a squeeze bottle. You could use an old ketchup bottle if you have mm -hmm. that at home. Mm -hmm. You can use just about anything that squeezes it out. And here we go. What's inside? We have paint, diluted paint. Uh -huh. Oh. About half water and half Latex paint. Look at okay. this. Whoops. Whoops. Here we go. Right over yours. You go ahead. So it's just uh, <laughs> latex paint, and you've added more water to it. That's it. You've got to get your bottle like heading this. downwards. Okay, that's the thing. Oh, that like really is dripping all over the place, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, this is fun. Just that's anyway. It. Oh huh? yeah. <laughs> Let's do a little bit more there, Bonnie. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Ernie, you want Ernie, a shot this of that? is fun. Go ahead, Ernie. You're great. Right. Not on me. No, well, well, no, straight, across. straight across. Oh, straight across. across. It's going to look like graffiti if you go like that. OK, so we okay. would do the whole wall like this. And then we would take a sponge. Why don't we Ooh, like, big, take this back? Big sea sponges okay. here. Sponge for everybody. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to come over oh, we're here. We're doing this right now, buddy, right? Over? Yeah, we're doing it great. And then we're just going to just gently Help it out sponge it over, get rid of those marks in there. You know, you can't help but think that you've done something wrong because it, right now it just looks real messy, there right? There is no making a mistake. You okay. can always okay. just paint it over. All right. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, a little bit more okay. in there. Oh. Wow. And what's making it drip so much, again, is that, that you put so much water in there. Give That's me that right. ratio one more time. Half to half. Half water, half regular water, 
and half of the regular paint. And acrylic then to give it that really elegant look, okay. we're going to blow on these powders, these metal metallic powders. Now, it's important that you read the labels and you make sure they're non-toxic, because a lot of the powders can be toxic. Now, and metallic powders? That's right. And you buy these in the paint Why store? Why don't you? Try yeah, too. tell us where we get the yeah. powder. You can get this at any good paint store. And just uh, ask for metallic powder. Metallic powders. So you just put well, it on right. the spoon. Anywhere, right on huh? the spoon. Go ahead. And get close. There you go. Oh, oh I like beautiful. that. Beautiful. Okay, hey, Ernie. Let's see. Let me see if I get a real <laughs> white spread here. Okay. Beautiful. Oh. Is that the idea? That's the idea. And a little bit And then how we're doing it on this wall is we're going to finish off with the silver. And you want to get it right into those powders a little bit, so you get them running down the wall. My word! Wow, there's, there are a lot of layers to this, a right? Lot a lot of, of different layers. steps, and you can now, keep going, and then that's it. Hey, oh, you're you a pro already. already. Wait a minute. Instinct. It's your instinct, Ernie. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> now, please Go tell ahead. us: is what what are the mistakes we might might make when we're doing something too much metallic, or because I feel like I need some guidelines here for there what's too no much. There are no mistakes. Really? If it turns out to be too much, you wait for it to dry and then you just squeeze over it again, okay. paint over it again. That's the fun thing about painting. Yeah, all do right. you have to seal it when it's all done? You could seal it and give it a high gloss effect if you want Good. something shiny. You can leave it as is, okay. as we've done it on the wall here. Okay. So in other words, what we've done here, I want to take another look. It's gonna, when it's all finished, it's gonna look like the first panel that yeah, we looked at. Absolutely. Let's take another look right now wow, so you can see that, that it goes from that yeah. to this. It looks okay. beautiful. Buddy, wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, it wasn't as messy is, as we this thought. This is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for well, being fun. here. Sure, yeah. thank you. Right. Coming up next year, how to make a hanging photo album when our home continues right here on Lifetime.